welcome back to the channel. Spring is here for us. There's a lot of snow on the ground still to be moved, but the logs have arrived for our cabin we'll be building. A few weeks ago, we retrieved our burl post from the woods by snow machine, and I got seeds started at the little cabin in preparation for this busy season coming up on us. Needless to say, we're excited. We are running out of frozen creeks to get my burl post. I told you there's burl city in here. Yeah. Hey, there's some right there. I must have. Get down at the bottom. To the post? Oh, it's got a big burl. Another one under the snow. Yeah. I would uh That one's cool, but kinda gets all that sap bleeding out at the bottom here. How's them snowshoes working? Oh god, I could do this. Could do this. Watusi? It's funny because, like, I never miss out on stuff like this, but ever since having Henry, I obviously stay behind for a lot of things. And as much fun as I'm having, having Levi's mom watch him and getting back out with the guys on stuff like this, I still miss my guy. <laughs> yeah, that, is that the one that you little crooked? Do you want with the burrow, 12 feet up? <laughs> Crazy. Short legs. Boogies. Crazy. Maybe it's easier when it's not working. Good lord. What kind of crap are you guys? You guys changing your minds? Oh, There's a great big one behind me. Oh. oh, geez. I'll show you guys the big one. Like, I was just pointing at him. This is cool. I haven't gotten to spend a lot of time just out in the woods. Something you could always come find some more for deck. Oh, just to look cool. Yeah. Take that first one. Okay. No, moose walking in the road. That's like eight more feet from there. Hopefully it's better further up. Not much you can do about that. It might all be 
Try that one? You know what I like about that one. You don't have to dig a hole? Yeah. The split starting right at that burrow. We'll cut it up there a ways. Let's see what the ground is. If you can manage to stay on your feet. And the split doesn't really seem to be that big a deal. You good with that one? Yeah. You think? I think it's great. I really like them with a couple small burrows, but. Yeah, but. Pretty, good. It's pretty heavy. We're going to work on getting. A snow machine in here. We did not. We don't really have a really good way to drag this sucker home. That's kind of my fault. I didn't give the guys time to figure that out. They were making it sound like we we're running out of time to get a burl, so I kind of rushed them. Thank you. I'm thinking this guy for some loft railing. So we'll cut it while they get a sled in there. Doing stuff on snowshoes is hard, but doing stuff in waist deep snow is harder. Okay, so I've got that one. There's another one back on the road. Do I need to go get it? Or are you saying you're not going back that way? I'm not planning on going back. Okay, I can go get it. There we go. Roll it. I think that'll work if we can get it tied down there. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's a teeth daughter on this back. Okay, I'm gonna go get that other one. Okay. Are they wet? That other one I cut. So that's sweet. I mean that's uh I'm dying. Oh, there she goes. Whoa, whoa.
twisted that bolt on the eye. I'm back at the cabins today. Our logs are on their way this week for our cabin package, which is very exciting and very nerve wracking all at the same time. Levi is pushing the snow back in our driveway. We are working on just making more space for storing the logs because it's going to be a little bit before we need them, but still really exciting they're coming. I'm in here realizing I'm running out of time to do things like start seeds. So I'm going to get this cabin cleaned up. I've got all of the babies asleep. Hopefully they all stay that way. I actually have a workspace. That hasn't happened in a while. I have everything from tomatoes to peppers to lettuce. Carrots will start in the ground. Um, herbs I'll probably start in the ground just because I'm really limited on space. Pumpkins. I would like to carve our own pumpkins this year that we grew. That'd be fun. Really? Henry says hi. Just do two slices like that. Ta-da! There we go. That's what we're doing. Oh, I love that smell. I did have a little garden in Colorado. Deer ate all my corn. If you watched last year, I did a container garden here at the in-laws place. And I actually did pretty well, in my opinion. I learned a fair amount from it, which was really the goal. And we'll just see what we can do. I am going to always keep trying. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Pumpkins. Snow has begun. They're calling for one to three inches. Kind of hard to tell, but those are pretty big flakes. Hopefully this doesn't mean we have to do too much more clearing that Levi just did for the logs to come in, but we'll keep you up to date on what we get. I am really quickly going to do these flowers. They were mailed to me and I freaking love them. And there's a seed starting guide in the back that I probably should have read before I did this. Listen, I knew this would happen to my notebook. Look at that water. Are these packages waterproof? Because if not, I am starting seeds in the bags. Great. Fabulous. All of these seeds came from bestcoolseeds.com. And all of them have this made for Alaska. So hopefully they treat me well. Tomatoes and peppers will be going in. I'm going to build some cold frames because we just don't have time to look at my mess making skills. We just don't have time to build a greenhouse this year with building the cabin. I'll do one, two, three seeds per thing. And I better write on these before I forget tea for tomato or beauty and then I will either thin when they get bigger or maybe keep them all we'll see how space is doing I am not enjoying watering like this and I don't like the way the water is just sitting on top of the soil this is not a how-to video they never are you're watching us learn again Really? He's a very happy guy. Again, these are made for Alaska varieties. Quick note, I have had comments asking about my sourdough starter and it died. I I don't know what I did wrong with it. I think I was having a hard time keeping a consistent temperature in here because it's either hot or on the chilly side in such a small cabin with a wood stove. 
So I think I'm going to start that back up when we are in the camper and we have a furnace that just keeps us at a steady temp. Levi's mom started her seeds as well. She's planting a pretty big garden, I think. And her lettuce is already sprouting after like no time at all. So I'm excited to see what this does. I think it's important to grow what you'll eat. I also think it's important to try new things. So I am testing part of that's part of this is I'm kind of testing which ones we like best out of the seed options that there are. There are three lettuces ready for the windowsill. I've also got these jugs that I forgot to clean before this, so they smell bad that I'm going to use to move plants up into bigger sizes when needed. Like I believe the pumpkins are gonna need a quite a bit bigger. Keep the tops and it kind of turn it into like a little makeshift greenhouse to keep them warm because Alaska's not really known for being warm. Oh, this isn't good. I could start some more seeds. What could I start? Oh crap. Oh, I'm gonna run out of space. This isn't good. Start, start indoors for quicker bloom or seed outdoors after all danger frost has passed. So maybe I will start a couple marigolds. Whoa. What are those? That is not what I expected to see. That's the petite. I expected a petite seed. So, all right, I'll just do that. Gardening gets so specific of like, don't pat the soil, do pat the soil. I don't even know. So I think if the plants can't survive my tactics, I don't need those plants in my life. <laughs> I just, I learn a little every time, like how I definitely need a better way to water because this is just moving my seeds around. Learn as we go. That should be the motto of our channel. Lord have mercy. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> We're back at the property today cutting our view trees down that are going to be right up against the pond in the summer. So the best time to cut them is when the pond is frozen. We're working on that today and the logs are going to double work as pallets basically for our cabin logs that are coming tomorrow. So we're busting some butt. Levi's dad came with us to cut down as many dead spruce as we can. I just threw my glove in the fire. I can't believe I did that. That's the easy part. That's the fun part. Ah! 
Good luck. <laughs> yeah, if you have trouble. <laughs> he left behind three balls. <laughs> well, that's just cheating. Uh oh. We probably cut down 20 trees and we probably have a good 30 or 40 left to go, but uh, we're losing daylight. So the guys are pulling the logs up from the pond up to the Connex and whatnot, and tomorrow we get our logs. Today's the day! We're getting our logs. They should be here within the hour. The guys are moving trucks around. I am thawing our sand that we bought specifically for this. And we're gonna have cabin logs today. footprint we're not taking the tractor in there because we have the post holes already dug and we're not certain where they are so until we can at least figure out where the post holes are it's shoveling which is really fun All right, we got the locks. Delivery went smooth. Smooth sailing. Perfect weather for it. They were able to get in and out of here fine with the tractor trucks. Tractors. Trucks and trailers. And so next step I think tomorrow we're gonna run in town and get some extra tarps just because it is gonna be at least a few weeks before we start getting into these logs for the rest of today we're just gonna dive into clearing the cabin footprint be shoveling tractor in you mad baby yeah it's got the disease I just killed a mosquito. Well, I was going to try to do something like this. What are you 
are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? So he can put more snow on there. You're insane. It's a lot of snow. <laughs>